no is a word I disdain. I mean, I like I hate hearing no because I think life is about the art of the possible. And so no is just, you know, it's just so final and really I'm allergic to no. I I tend to to my journey to to being coming more comfortable it, with it is to really feeling like I'm not trying to sell that I'm trying to serve up opportunities to others that will help them that are about them and I figure if I can frame my world like that and offer people things that will help them it's not a no to a product it's a no to the possibility if you're raising money for a business book boy you know that if you're trying to sell a new product <laughs> if you're going to write a book like we just wrote a book if you are trying to get into big companies small companies and medium companies it's about changing the lens of the mindset to what you're trying to create for the other person and so i don't think about no that that often to be quite honest it's not selling it's about building relationships of trust where you can provide value to others and it's how do young people frame their words their mindset and their approach in that vein and we do an all a god awful job you know through traditional education whether it be high school college business school law school we suck at that in order to be comfortable about making an ask you have to be comfortable with the belief that what you're asking someone to do provides value show up which is being present, being there, listening, being part of what's going on, putting down the cell phone or doing all those other things. And it is all those things that um are the basis for you know figuring out what and who you are and how you want to communicate yourself. If you make it about others, you win all the time. um because that's what they're looking for what's in it for me so we have a system of what's in it for them you want to make a sale figure out what what you want to do with someone well then make it about them you have to understand the relationship with yourself first and that's something we should be focusing on when we're younger and don't wait for your boss you know or someone to tell you about it let's do it i mean figure that out early look some people are just lucky enough to have innate gifts and you have to figure out what your gift is. And mine is being bold to people and telling them kind of um and serving them by being bold and telling them what I believe to be the truth after asking them many many questions about themselves. And I had to learn to be comfortable with that gift and that whether I was a lawyer or whether I was a business guy that that's who I was and that's what I could contribute and if I did it in the right way showing up being real and making it about others it would provide value to others and so it really took a long time to get comfortable in my own skin i come from a rough background i didn't have the best mentors and it took me a long time to figure out the best mentor i could have was me good questions demonstrate you care good questions are complex and challenging mm-hmm. a great question or good question will get you to even deeper meaningful relationships with people they will give you the second question they will help people open up and you will find out whether you have similar mindsets and where is the value you can provide either through yourself or through other people every day it's goosebump worthy mm-hmm. um, and i don't know whether that's what i'm addicted to now which is that the goosebump of helping others but it sure feels good and it just sure is amazing to be able to help people do for them what i learned to do for myself if it, there's nothing ever and ever good can come out of a misfit or a misalignment in ethics <laughs> um right it just it, it's just that that's what the adult in me taught me um <laughs> and you have to get smacked in the face a couple of times you know really take take a metric of where you are now you know whatever it is whatever assessment you want to use and i love strain finder cuz it's just so easy just go do some exploratory stuff and figuring out who you are and what you want to be and talk to someone about it even if it's your wife or your significant other but please please be aware i mean more than anything be aware don't be the guy or gal where everyone's thinking something about you but you don't know it hang around with people that'll push you and not let you get by with telling yourself nonsense that is not true or acting like a drunken idiot or treating people poorly 
take some action. I mean, do something. Even if it's a little something, push yourself to do things that are different outside your box. The more experiences you have, the richer your life is. Learn how to relax into yourself. Learn to love yourself earlier. I mean, learn to really you know, do that assessment and get comfortable um, with who you are and, and mm-hmm. you know, seek out people to help you do that. Because the sooner you do that, the better you can create impact and, and deliver. 